We did it, lads! We hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Woohoo! I seriously cannot thank you all enough. Now, to celebrate this, I could very easily have done some cool video talking about some random Thomas topic, but then I realized something. I didn't make 10,000 subscribers. It was all 10,000 of you subscribing to me, so I thought it might be nice to give something back to you, because I really genuinely appreciate it. So, I decided to ask all of you if you had any questions you wanted to ask me about Thomas, and I would answer it. Now, I wasn't able to fit every comment into the video, and there were a lot of double up questions, and I wasn't able to credit everyone who asked a comment, but I did try to get as many questions as I could answered in this video. So, let's begin, starting with the most asked question, who's your favourite character? Probably Peter Sam, he had one of the most unique characters in the show. He's so gullible and wholesome, I really wish we got to see more of him. How long does it take to write a script? It takes on and off about a week to write a script, although if I was able to work on it full time, it would probably take about two to four days of just solid script writing. Which returnee character would you have liked to have seen in CGI? Honestly, I think we got enough returnees in CGI, but if I had to pick, maybe Elizabeth, since I would have loved to have seen her and Winston interact. What TV series character could work in the railway series? Honestly, any of the series 6 or 7 newbies, I think. What is the hardest video to make? Probably my first and last line of every Thomas character. That took about on and off 8 months to just cobble together footage. What is your favourite cheese? Wensleydale Gromit. What's your favourite Irish locomotive? Mm, probably Roisin from the Stradbally Railway. Thoughts on Chuggington? I remember watching Chuggington on BBC when I was younger, and honestly, Chuggington isn't half bad. Uh, I know it's a bit of a meme in the Thomas fandom, but I recently got back into it ever since Thomas has ended, and I actually find it quite interesting. I'd love to make a video on it one day. Thoughts on HO? I had a phase where I wanted to get into HO, but they are very expensive. <laughs> I guess you pay a premium price for premium models. Do you think the Royal Engine would have been better if Edward was the main? No, I think that would have made it worse, honestly. I mean, really, what would have Edward and Beresford had in common? I personally think the Royal Engine was a journey that Thomas needed to go on more than Edward. Which one railway series character would you have liked to have seen in the show? Like I said, I think we got most of the characters who needed to return, but if I had to pick one, maybe Bear? What would you do for a Thomas special? <laughs> Unironically, I would love to see Thomas travel the world. Maybe not the whole world, but I would love just a movie about him visiting America or something. In a similar style to Way Out West with Bob the Builder. I feel like Thomas is a very British show, so having him go to America for a special and having America stylized in a Thomas aesthetic would be so cool. What is your favourite hit episode? I probably have to say it's good to be Gordon. I really love Gordon's characterization in that episode. First Thomas toy. The Tommy Thomas Big Set and the Tommy Henry with Logs. Favourite Thomas merch line? Tommy Thomas and Tommy Trackmaster. Favourite road character? Hmm, bulgy. Where is the child support? You'll get it once I get visitation rights, Spencer. Where do you imagine your old car keys are now? Probably still on that beach. Favourite Thomas music? Uh, the All at Sea end score? What made you a fan of Thomas from a kid to adulthood? It's hard to say, I think Thomas just has a universal appeal. Do you know of the Unlucky Tug? Yes, I've been following him for years. Uh, I watched all of his stuff long before he even made his old thoughts on videos. I'm also a 10 euro patron of his, and I even met him in Wales when he went there back in 22. Will you make a Roblox video? A lot of my fans also seem to watch Sodor Online, so it would make sense for me to, but I've no plans of making Roblox videos. Thoughts on Thomas and the Magic Railroad? I watched it as a kid, but I never really gave the movie a second chance later on in life, since it just feels completely divorced from everything in the franchise after. What would you write a Thomas episode about? Honestly, I have too many ideas for Thomas episodes, but if I were to just write one, I'd probably love to give Rosie a really solid episode, as I feel like she never got one. What was your favourite video to work on? Um, I'd have to say either my Series 25 What Happened Next video or my Emily video. Both of those are really fun to do. Do you think Thomas and 101 Dalmatians could work in the same universe? I don't know why you'd want to, but I think you probably could make it work, since 101 Dalmatians is set in 1958 and both of them are set in England and both of them feature humanized dogs, so I don't see why not, honestly. How do you think the loop James takes in the railway series exists? Perhaps it's a yard loop or something? I wouldn't look too deep into the lore of the early books, especially with things like the Rogue Station, for example. What CGI character do you wish hadn't come back? Maybe one of the ones that they just never used, like Whiff or Stanley. I mean, if you're not going to use the character, then why would you bring it back, you know? How long does it take to make videos? 
I have a general rule of trying to get one big video out every one or two weeks. And since I have an eight to five job five days a week, that leaves me with about four or five days if I'm lucky to work on a video. How do you get your ideas? Ideas can come from anywhere. Everything and anything can be turned into a video idea. There's literally an unlimited amount of possibilities. Remember that no matter how crazy or silly an idea is, if it's an idea, it can be turned into a video. What Thomas DVD is your favorite? Uh, the Fogman DVD was always my favourite as a child. What was the first railway series book you read? I haven't technically read most of the railway series books. Uh, I generally listen to those audiobooks, but I think one of the first audiobooks that I listened to was Mike's Whistle. Do you like anything besides Thomas? Yeah, I'm also into Lego. How were you first introduced to Thomas? Uh, my old neighbour gave my mom a bunch of videotapes, and one of them was the Bumper Party Collection videotape, so I think Rusty to Rescue was the first Thomas episode that I actually watched. Any tips on editing? Yeah, try to edit all of your audio first, and then add the video clips after, and if something doesn't need to be in the video, then just cut it. Even if it's a whole segment in a video, if it doesn't need to be there, just get rid of it. Be brutal with yourself. Favourite Diary of Wimby Kid character? Roderick's pretty cool. Favourite colour? Uh, I usually say blue, but now that I think about it, purple is also quite nice. Will you talk about other media besides Thomas on the channel? There are plenty of other franchises that I'm into, like Bob the Builder, Fireman Sam, Chuggington, Postman Pat, Father Ted, Friends, Only Fools, Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, Mrs. Brown's Boys, and others that I would love to talk about on the channel. But I think most of those would either be just one-off videos, or would probably just be mentioned in other videos. For the most part, stuff on this channel is just going to be Thomas. Will you do a collab with Tons of Trackmaster? Funnily you say that, me and Tons did do an on-the-spot collab video where we reviewed my Tommy Diesel 10. If Tons of Trackmaster ever makes his Audrey Extravaganza video, that collaboration will probably be in there. What would happen if Thomas ate a cheeseburger? I don't know, it'd probably end up in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Have you ever met any Thomas crew members? Yes, I've met Michael White, Sam Wilkinson, Sean O'Connor, if he counts, Mike O'Donnell, Simon Spencer, and I, yeah, I think that's about it. Where would you live on Sodor? Mm, probably Farquhar, there's just something about that place that feels like home to me. Thoughts on Edward? I love Edward, I think he's a great character, although I do find him a bit wishy-washy sometimes. You know, he's the sort of character that takes everybody's side and nobody's side at the same time. I just wish he'd state his damn opinion sometimes, rather than always trying to please everyone. I'm definitely not one of those Edward worshippers, but I do like him. Do you think the others should have more respect for Edward? I think Edward should learn to respect himself, because just hoping for others to blindly respect him is not a good strategy. Favourite railway series book? Enterprising Engines, duh. Favourite Diesel? Uh, I've always had a soft spot for Bear. Are you going to do more fun theories? Well, they don't call me the Thomas Theorist for nothing. <laughs> I generally stay away from theories on the channel, which is ironic since my name is obviously Thomas Theorist. Who has the best design in Thomas? Emily, she has an amazing design. I wish more 18th century locos like her were seen in the show. She's so ornate. Do you keep your keys chained to you now? Yes. Favourite Father Ted episode? The episode Hell, I always liked it from childhood. Uh, please go watch it, it's great. Would you like to see a live-action Thomas movie with real steam engines? Yeah, I think I would like to see that, although it would be very expensive, so I don't know if it would ever actually get made. Least favourite character? Probably Samson. He sucks. None of his episodes were good, and he never learned his lesson. He was very much a drag on the series. Billy or Charlie? Who's worse? Billy is probably worse. Him and his book teeth can go to hell. <laughs> Will we see any train theories on your channel? No, I've kind of grown out of that style of content. I probably will do theories on the channel, but they won't be framed in a conspiratorial manner. What is your favourite song from the show? Night Train is pretty amazing. I love it. If you could rewrite one episode, what would it be? I would probably rewrite A Shed for Edward, but instead of Philip, I would just have it be Bill and Ben. This is a video I'd like to expand on more one day. How long does it take to make your videos? I try to get a video out every two weeks, but it usually takes about three weeks to make a video. Although if I had more time, I really think I could pump a lot more of them out. Thoughts on Bill and Ben? I like them, although I do tend to forget they exist sometimes. Ever been to Thomasland? No, but I was really close once. I actually drove all the way from Ireland to Birmingham for the Thomas Props documentary, but I foolishly never thought to visit Thomasland while there in Birmingham. So yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Best Thomas Origin, Railway Series or CGI? Well, Railway Series, obviously. Will Lego Thomas ever be a thing? 
It would be very hard for Lego and Mattel to agree. Maybe a tie-in with the Mark Foster movie, but yeah, I wouldn't get your hopes up. It's definitely something I buy, but honestly, you could just make your own. I mean, there's been plenty of fan recreations. What brand would you use if you were ever making a series? Probably Tomy, since it's the most I had from childhood. Thoughts on the theory that CGI is a different canon to model series? I think the model series and the CGI series were a part of the same canon at one point, until the Adventure Begins sort of retconned that. So, I guess you could argue that every season post Thomas and the Magic Railroad is in a new canon, which I like to dub the redlining universe since Thomas has his old redlining. This is also another video topic I want to discuss. Which character would you kill off? Samson, duh. Favourite Thomas writer? Probably Helen Farrell. She's very underrated, and I don't think she wrote a single bad episode. Would love to make a video about her one day. If Jack in the Pack was released as a spin-off, do you think it would be a success? Honestly, I don't think so. The show was just too similar in tone to Thomas, and Hit already owned Bob the Builder, so I think the show was pretty much dead in the water from day one. Biggest positive of the CGI transition? Probably the fact that they tried to keep it as consistent with the old content as much as possible. Out of Bob, Sam and Thomas in CGI, I think Thomas definitely got the best job. What editing software do you use? Uh, Vegas Pro 17. What character had the most potential but was the least fleshed out? I would say Molly. She had a really solid introduction. She had a sort of marketable model and a defined character. They just never really did anything with her beyond her first episode. I really wish they did something with her, and this is another video I want to discuss one day. Do you agree with the basis that Audrey picked for the engines? Yes, I do agree with them. I do wish that the wording was a little better in the iOS book, like what exactly Percy was based on, for example, but I don't really have a problem with any of the basis that Audrey chose for the characters. How did you first join the Thomas the Tank Engine community? I started out watching Thomas YouTubers like Diesel D199 or Enterprising Engines religiously when I was younger, and then I joined Twitter around 2015, and I've pretty much been in the Twitter slash YouTube fandom ever since. Why is your profile pic of the Fat Controller from the Royal Engine? I just thought it was a very funny image, and so I made it my profile, and I just never really changed it. I think it actually aged well since the amount of times I've talked about the Royal Engine on the channel. Duck or Oliver? I think I like Oliver more than Duck, even though I think Duck is objectively the better character. Thoughts on Barry being a tank engine rather than a tender engine? It feels weird, since we've always thought of him as a tender engine. I think I'll always prefer him as a tender engine, but only time will tell. Perhaps I'll get used to him as a tank engine, I don't know. What do you see in Thomas's future? I think All Engines Go will continue to do well, and I'm glad that the show is doing well with younger kids. But Mattel will always want to sell Thomas toys, so I think there will always be new Thomas shows coming out. As long as the toys sell, there will always be show. Do you think Mattel will do something for the 80th anniversary? Mattel probably will release something special for the 80th, but I wouldn't get your hopes up about the down the mine pilot or anything. <laughs> Favourite season? Probably series 6. I would love to do a review of it one day. What do you think of Henry's old shape? I think it's a very stupid concept. Like, I get why Audrey did it, but eh, that doesn't mean I have to like it. Any interests in modern Thomas toy lines? I will admit, the All Engine Go merch is very good, and it does reflect the show very well, and seems to sell out. And I do look at it in the shops from time to time, but I've never actually bought one. Do you plan to collab with anyone? I do try to collab with people as often as I can, but they're often a big effort to make happen, and more often than not, collaborations fall through. Favourite Thomas merch? Please say TWR. Sadly, Ireland never got wooden railways, so that system has always been a mystery to me. Favourite Unlucky Tug video? Uh, probably his Flying Scotsman USA tour or his Every Car's Reviewed video. Favourite Thomas childhood memory? Probably building huge Tommy layouts with my sister and then acting out our own Thomas stories on the layout. Hardest and easiest part of making videos? I would say coming up with the idea is the easiest part for me personally, however actually turning that simple idea I have in my head into a video is probably the most difficult. There's always a compromise. Would you like to work on Thomas? Well, I probably wouldn't say no if I was asked, but I don't think writing for Thomas is really all that's cracked up to be. You'd probably be very constrained with what the producers would want. Would you like to visit other heritage railways across the world? I would love to go to the Nilgiri Mountain Railway at some point in my life, yes. Please do more family trees? I probably will do more family trees since all of you seem to really like that video. What video are you most proud of? Probably my Michael White one, that one feels the most professional in terms of editing and script writing. Can you do a video about preserved engines from Thomas? I mean, I could, but I don't think it'd be a very interesting video, so I probably won't. What change would you make to the Hit Era Bible? 
Well, I would definitely fix Henry's characterization. Although there are some things, oddly enough, I'd probably leave. Like, I kind of like Emily's new characterization, so it ain't all bad. How do you feel about Lego? I am also a huge Lego fan, although it's been a while since I've treated myself to a good set. How would you humanize the engines? Humanizing the engines in general is frowned upon in the fandom, but I have drawn human Thomas characters before. I think my favorite one I've done is Emily. I love how her cylinder casing looks like hair. Thoughts on the Cullifell engines? I'm lukewarm on the Cullifell engines. They only got like one book and were never referenced again in anything. That being said, I do like the stories in that first book. Do you think Barry, Nigel or Little Giant had potential for the show? No, not really, since we already have Arthur, Nelson and Mighty Mac in the show. Although, that doesn't mean I like those characters any more than their original concepts. Which pack member should have returned? I mean, obviously Byron should have just been Brenda. I think most people agree upon that. But if you were to ask me which pack member I think should return, I'd probably say Kelly, since he was a natural leader and was also a marketable character since he's a crane. Are your scripts long or short? I write my scripts in Google Docs using the courier font at size 11. Uh, they're about 7 to 10 pages long. Worst classic series episode? I would have to say Thomas in Trouble. Nothing really happens in that episode. A lot of standing around and waiting. I have an idea how to fix it, although that is literally a story for another time. What do you drive? I drive a red Toyota, but I've also driven Duncan before and Midlander, aka Rusty, at Audrey Travaganza 2022. I've also driven tractors, uh, diggers, and I've also sometimes driven forklifts from time to time. How do you feel about All Engines Go? I don't really care about All Engines Go. I will admit that I will put it on sometimes just to sort of mindlessly watch it, but it doesn't really leave much of an impact on me. It's not for me, but I am glad that it has an audience, and I will admit that the merch is pretty good too, reflecting the show very well. Are you into any cartoons? Yeah, I love The Simpsons, Futurama, Steven Universe, and Steven Universe Future, and others. Which livery suited Donald Douglas best, blue or black? Definitely their railway series blue, as it symbolizes them coming to the Northwestern Railway, although I do like that the TV series kept them black. What is your preferred basis for Thomas that isn't an E2? Now personally, I don't have a problem with Thomas being an E2, but if that's not an option, then maybe a one-off rebuild by the fat controller Croven's Gate, but if I had to choose a real basis that isn't an E2, then perhaps a Jinty or a Terrier would make sense? What was Sharon Miller's best idea? Uh, definitely the idea of making Victor be the yellow engine. I think that was a really clever idea on her part. Gonna do a video on Murdoch? Mm, probably not. I don't have too much to say about him. My general rule of videos is that if I have enough to say about a topic, then I will make a video about it. How would you work the All Engines Go characters into the OG series? Um, I'd probably have Kana run the Peel Godward branch line since she's an electric engine. And I'd probably have Sandy be a rail speeder at Brendam Docks for the dock yard manager. Um, that way Carly and Sandy also get to keep their mother-daughter relationship in the show. How would you have handled the All Engines Go reboot? I'd have handled it in a similar style to how they handled the Mr. Bean animated series, where it's still a very cartoony version of the sitcom, but you could still imagine those episode plots being in the original series. I'd probably have it in the style of the My Thomas Library series of books, where its animation is still very kiddie, but it's still in line with what the core appeal of what Thomas is. Honestly, I'm fine with animated Thomas, just when it's done right, and not whatever the hell all in just go is. Any heritage railways in the UK you'd like to see? Yes. I've yet to be into the Bluebell Railway and the Snowden Mountain Railway and the Ravenglass, so they're on the top of my list. I also want to go back to Battle Lake one day too. How can I come up with theories like you do? I mean, I always try to just sort of think outside the box and look at things from a new perspective. So just think of things that you've always thought about, but just look at them in a new way. Because then you'll have a 3D idea of a 2D concept. And don't copy other people's point of view. Have your own point of view on certain things. Would you rather have an Edward movie or a Gordon movie? Mm, definitely a Gordon movie, for sure. What is your least favorite thing about the Railway series? <laughs> Probably the fact that, canonically, the Culdy Fell, the Scarlowy, and the Arlesdale Railway are all just clones of real railways on England. So, the fact that it just so happened that it worked out that there was all these identical railways, I think is pretty stupid. I'm also not the biggest fan that the steam engines continue to work in regular service right up until present day. I would have much preferred all the steam engines being phased out in favour of diesels. When do you get a video idea? They usually come to me when you least expect it. Mine usually come from just thinking about things about the series. Which YouTubers inspired your content the most? 
I mean, my inspiration comes from all sorts of places. I'm obviously very inspired by Thomas YouTubers like the Unlucky Tug, A Sodor Life, and Usual Bloke Luke. But most of my inspiration comes from non-Thomas YouTubers. Like, my thumbnails are very much inspired by Mr. Beast. My editing is very much inspired by Lemino and Red Letter Media. My video essays are very much inspired by Your Movie Sucks, I Hate Everything, and The Nostalgia Critic, and The Real Gyms. So, yeah, I have a lot of inspiration from non-Thomas YouTubers. Who is your favourite Big World Adventures character? This is an odd choice, but I'd have to say Kwaku. I really wish they'd done more with him and Nia. I don't think she even mentions him again after that. I think my second and my third would probably be Shankar and Kenji. What episode makes you cry? I've never really cried at any Thomas episodes. There are certainly emotional moments in the series, like when Duke is reunited with Sir Handel and Peter Sam, or the ending of Henry's Forest, or the end of All at Sea. Um, but I'd probably have to say Calling All Engines? Uh, I know that's a weird choice, but the song Together We Made It Happens always makes me get emotional. <laughs> I also remember getting very emotional at the end of The Adventure Begins. What was the best way to bring Boko back in CGI? Honestly, I think a shed for Edward was the only right time they could have brought Boko back and made it work without feeling fanservice-y. Favourite Father Ted character? <laughs> Father Jack is pretty iconic, but I also love John and Mary, and Mrs Doyle is also great. But I think the best Father Ted character is Father Ted himself, since he's the most in-depth character out of all of them. Would you consider branching off into non-Thomas content? Oh yeah, definitely. I really want to do a video on Chuggington one day, but I'll be mostly sticking to Thomas on this channel. The most off-brand video I would ever do is a full series retrospective on Father Ted, but I don't see myself doing that for a good few years, sadly. Which quote-unquote bad characters do you think could have made for the best redemption arcs? Honestly, I think Billy. I'd love to see him grow into a more mature character and less of a bratty engine. If there was one crew member dead or alive you could talk to for one hour, who would it be? Definitely David Mitten. He seems like such a cool guy and there's very little archive footage of him around. I really think we'd get along. I think we're quite similar in a lot of ways. Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul? Mm, I'd probably have to say Better Call Saul. Thoughts on Tugs? I'm not really into Tugs. So I appreciate it for what it is, but I've never really had much of an interest in the show, honestly. I'm definitely more of a Thomas guy than a Tugs guy. How do you research and write your scripts? Most of my Thomas research comes from the wiki or re-watching episodes. As for writing scripts, I usually structure my scripts before I put any words down on the page. There's nothing worse than having a wall of text or a bunch of incoherent ideas in a Google Doc. So, the first thing I do is I write down the chapters, and then within the chapters I write down the points I want to make in them. And then I just sort of turn that into the script. It always helps to sort of break down what you're doing. And since I'm reading off a script, I will often leave paragraphs and gaps so I can find myself if I ever get lost when I'm reading. What videos do you want to make in the future? I have a whole list of just video titles in my Google Doc that's about seven pages long, but I'm always hesitant about sharing my upcoming video projects unless I've actually started editing or script writing for them. You know, because then I feel like there's a lot of pressure to get those videos finished and people will constantly be asking about them. But some of the upcoming videos I want to do include a Hit Era retrospective, a Chuggington retrospective, a 10 Missing Railway series book, I want to do more writer reviews, I also want to do uh, more family tree videos, but that's the thing, I have more ideas than I have time to work on them, so I tend not to announce projects that I know will take years to actually come out, plus it makes harder to cancel them if I realise while writing that they're bad ideas. What inspired you to make this channel? I've always wanted to do YouTube, as I always loved watching YouTube as a young lad, and thinking about how I would make videos for the platform. Thankfully, I'm finally getting around to it, and I'm loving it. How did you get to know people from your How I Met a Fandom video? It was just a matter of showing up to the events and talking to them. Thoughts on Samson? <laughs> I hate him. He's my least favourite Thomas character. I'd love to do a video on him one day explaining why I think he's the worst Thomas character. When will you appear in Insane Edward's videos? When I stop being shot for being Irish, Sam. What characters have the best development in the series? Definitely Daisy. I think she had the greatest development arc of any character in the series. I also think Mavis had a pretty good arc too, although hers happened fairly early in the show, while Daisy's happened more gradually over the series, so probably Daisy. What mic do you use? I use a Razer Siren USB mic. What Irish voice would you have given Luke? Honestly, I have no problem with the slightly Dublin accent they gave Luke in the CGI series. However, my headcan for him is that he's a bog train before he came to Sodor, so I'd probably just give him a bogger accent, like myself. Best Trackmaster item? Definitely the Action Canyon. Would love to own it one day. I really wish I had that as a child. 
a review on all engines go? Uh, it's on the table for sure, and I know people would like it, but I only want to make a video if I have enough important things to say in it. But I simply don't have very strong opinions on that show. If I think of enough things to say, then I will generally greenlight a video. But at the moment, I have no real thoughts on the show. What is the one food you'd eat for the rest of your life? Fish. I love fish. Do you know any other languages besides English? No, but I know a little bit of Irish and I know a little bit of French. Do you like Fergus? Yes? Do you think Molly should have replaced Rebecca? Now, while Molly and Rebecca are fundamentally different characters, I still personally believe that Molly would have added a whole new dimension to the Steam Team dynamic. Plus, her design is just a hundred times better than Rebecca's. How would you rewrite Big World Big Adventures? This is another video I want to make one day, but I would probably have Topham take Thomas around the world with Annie and Clarabelle, quite similar to Lucky Tug's video idea. Honestly, I have many ideas on this, of which I would like to expand upon at a later date. Which era was the worst? Probably Big World Adventures, since literally nobody liked that. I mean, at least All Engines Go has some fans. Will you ever remake the first and last line video? No, I won't. There are definitely a few mistakes in that video, but I think for the most part it's okay. And honestly, it was just a pain to make that video. How did you first get exposed to Father Ted and thoughts on it? I grew up watching Father Ted as a child and remembered loving it. I don't think any other TV show has represented Irish society and comedy as well as Father Ted has. It really has a special place in my heart and I honestly love it more than Thomas. I probably will do a video on it someday, but you know, that would probably be in a few years. Thoughts on The Great Race? I love The Great Race. I don't know why everyone seems to hate it. I love the new Vickerstown Station set. I love the Flying Scotsman. I love the Gordon Scotsman dynamic. Uh, the animation is amazing. The international characters all look great. And the songs from the movie go so hard. They all slap. I don't know why everyone seems to hate this. I think it's probably not as highly ranked as others because people sort of got conditioned to a lot of the things in it. But for what it is and how much it set up things, I really like it. Thoughts on the Bumper Party Collection videotape? <laughs> Interestingly enough, I've no real plans to make any videos on DVDs or videotapes. However, I do someday want to make a video explaining why I think the Bumper Party Collection videotape was the best Thomas Home Media release. What made you pick your channel name? Uh, I don't think I've ever told this story before, but I stole my username from the channel The Theorizer because years ago I wanted to do that type of content, but with Thomas, hence the name Thomas Theorist. But I ended up growing out of that style of content, but the name stuck. What is the biggest Thomas project you see yourself committing to? The biggest project I could see myself committing to was probably a spin-off series about Rosie called Everything's Rosie. The series would be about three seasons long and would take place during series 10, 11 and 12. So that'd probably be the biggest project I could see myself doing. Although I'd want to make it in the hit era style and I'd need to make huge sets for it and buy loads of Tommy Trackmaster trains. So that's a project I could easily see myself doing in five or 10 years from now. But since it's such a huge undertaking, I don't see myself doing it for a while. And finally, Finally, the last question, if you weren't making videos, what would you be doing instead? I'd probably be having a life. <laughs> uh, no, but seriously though, making videos is a big time investment, but it's also what I love doing. I do genuinely have a real passion for this and you know, I'm still learning the basics, but I've always had a passion for this type of thing. And so I really am genuinely grateful for all 10,000 of you who've been following me. The fact that I am just one person and there are 10,000 of you, that's just crazy to me. So yeah, that was my Q&A, and I don't usually talk about myself on this channel, so I hope you all learned a little something new about me today, and I all hope you understand me a little better. At the end of the day, I'm just a human being making videos. I'm just doing what I love and what I'm passionate about. I seriously cannot thank you all enough for 10 thousand subscribers. I have many plans for the future of the channel so please look out because more content will be on the way. I'm probably going to get started on that fairly soon. You know I seriously cannot thank you all enough and also I wanted to thank you for watching, coming this far and listening to me ramble. So yeah, thank you all again for watching and I will definitely see you all in the next one. Slán Awalia.